correct so during the pagination are you gonna update the old comments which have been modified or you're only gonna have the new set of comments and add it to the list hope you all got the problem i'm going to explain the problem once again so let's say you have a pagination where newest comments you show on top oldest comments are added from the behind okay whenever you do the pagination and whenever you're doing the pagination certain comments which are already loaded have been edited so are you going to update those comments or not so this is a typical system design question why i'm asking i'll tell you so the video detail screen so here what i'm doing is this is the place as you all know the video gets played correct i'm just increasing its size okay and this is the right side where all the suggestions happen correct so i'm taking another box all the suggested videos will be present here okay and i also have the sec this section where this is section where all the like share uh unlike embed all those things will be present here correct and then this last section is the comment section quickly let us name so that in the whenever we are explain the interview you are clear video streaming okay or video player that's the probably the right word okay okay video player let me increase the size so that you all can see video player then we have suggested videos correct suggested videos then then we have certain things called comment section okay comment section then we have this is what i can call like like share like share embed all these things will happen in this okay so definitely suggested videos will have certain like images with a thumbnail etc correct so control d so where you can see multiple suggested videos like this correct one below another you will have be having the multiple videos so something like this correct suggested videos are going to be like this on the right hand side so this is the typical ui of the bare bone don't think like this is the your whatever the beautiful design that your your developer gives so this is a bare bone of the how youtube looks like correct youtube video detail screen looks like this now now there are certain problems in each of this section one by one let us going to discuss and let us solve the first problem is the the video player itself correct so video player if you see you have certain buttons on here correct that uh, start stop and all are here that um, i don't know where the shapes are there but i'm just going to keep hey, this is the start and uh, this is the stop and you will have certain buttons like um, next and the previous correct you will have buttons like the forward and backward buttons correct forward and backward buttons sometimes and on the right hand side you set you see the settings to increase and decrease the uh the video quality etc correct so there are many options that are associated with this video player sorry i did forgot to add uh, o here so how you going to build this player is the first question okay now let us say you are in a system design interview and the interviewer ask wasant this is the video player whatever you are saying it is very beautiful player with lot of uh, options like we already discussed it has like share and uh, video playing pausing forward backward changing the quality adding the subtitles there are a lot of functionality we associated with this video player correct so generic component if you consider from react point of view it's a generic component where lot of attributes are passed to it like for example certain videos cannot be uh, quality cannot be increased to hd because video itself is not in hd correct and there'll be lot of other options like subtitles some videos have a subtitles where you can switch to different languages some doesn't because author hasn't uploaded that uh, json or whatever the file that is required for the subtitles so this is a very generic component in terms of react if you think and what all components that you would pass to that um, uh, you know particular video player component depending on that it will show those options correct obviously every video will have certain things that is very common start stop and the quality setting they are all very common correct so now how you going to design this player correct so if you ask me now and uh, this then what is the next question that i'll ask for the interviewer is what is the timeline that we have for this delivery of this entire product let's say he wants to go with a beta the first version of the app in next 3 months then i would say see video player is a crux of this entire layout there are a couple of options that i would give him one 
if there is any proven player which is already doing the fantastic job and that is at a very cheaper cost for us let us first go and use that third party video player and embed into our tool let us not build a tool of our own the reason for that is very clear like i said there is a lot of challenges that comes with the player like for example you're getting the video and suddenly the video becomes slower uh, sorry internet becomes slower then whenever how you fit the next set of packets becomes slower but you shouldn't see the jitter on the video correct so there has to be some process in the back end which is taking care of these things so video playing is a very very complex process than you think so my advice is if there is a possibility of taking a different th third party tool then let us take the tool for the beta further let us enhance it internally and add our own tool now interviewer will may say yes to that or interviewer may also say no to that like uh, we have a limited budget we cannot procure a third party video embedding tool and it's a crux of the entire project the amount could be high okay so in such cases definitely we can build a video player of our own it is not some rocket science don't worry if you want i link one blog which i read recently where they very very clearly explain how to build a video player so it, it can be easily built just with html video tag and um, there are a lot of uh, media source html media tag video tag and the media source it's a, um, a javascript api with these two things you can easily build a player like youtube very basic player like youtube in just few hours there are a lot of tutorial outs there with which you can build the video player but there will be a lot of intricacies which you might miss okay whenever we build like i said the adaptability adjusting the quality all those things may take little time uh, if you build a your own youtube player now we are solved the first problem of video player don't think this i i am not getting into all the problems whatever the problem that is very very um visible on the top layer i'm i'm touching them next next problem which we have is so to summarize video player whether the if the timeline is less let's use a third party video player which is very popular and used by many uh, if is that amount is if they are operating for a free use that or if you are offering a very minimal cost and it is something worth from from the point of whatever the service that they are giving you can use it or if, if you wish to build a player of your own that also can be done and it is not very complex okay next next we have is the section of uh, comment section and the suggested videos okay now let us probably uh, one second so i have opened ajitek for some other reason and i will explain that in a while okay next let us go to my channel uncommon geeks okay i'll open one video and i'll explain what is very very important here okay so videos let's say let's go to some video where i have so many comments okay so in this we are now you are observing this video okay so where we have designed the architecture pretty much similar to this only correct so where in the center you have the video and the right hand side you have suggested videos you have a player here and observe the things carefully now i'll show you one flow okay so in interview this doesn't happen interview a question immediately directly asked for just for your analysis and how you should think i'm i'm just showing you so i'm scrolling down okay and we are seeing some comments here okay the observer scrolling on the right side so there were only few suggestions were loaded and whenever you scroll down new suggestions are getting added okay again i'm scrolling down so new set of comments started adding here correct so again whenever you're scrolling right so new set of suggested videos are getting added here was then there is no rocket science in this we all know pay how pagination works and how things get added okay i'm not very fascinated by the suggested videos pagination that is quite straight forward where every time whenever you're hitting the end of the page or whatever the loaded content end of the load content you can load the new content many libraries are there there are built in mechanisms to that that is fine let us focus on the comment section pagination okay so let's say you you have loaded till here correct to certain extent then the next set of comments got loaded for, for this particular video correct now here are my questions to you regarding this whenever you hit the end of the current loaded comment section you are going to load the next set of comments correct so there is a problem called consistency here why what is consistency problem is let's say in the comments you have filtered it like sort by uh, new comments on top top comments or newest for something like that newest which basically refers whoever has commented most recently they are going to be on top correct so now you are scrolling to the end correct and whenever you are scrolling to the end it is obviously it is not only who you, you are the one who is watching the video correct there are thousands of people out there who are watching the video and many might have added a comment by that for, let's say you watch the video for 5 minutes in that 5 minutes probably let's say 100 people have added the comments so now whenever you are scrolling to the end 
So as per the default filter you have selected, newest newest comment should be on top, correct? But your local whatever the comments that you have, you don't have the newest comments. So in the pagination now, you are you gonna get the whatever the index or however the logic that you have built next set of comments after that okay because next set of comments if you get after that they they could be also the newest not the oldest correct uh, hope you're getting whatever i'm saying so in that cases what is the typical way you will do that is question number one question number two let's say if it's making very confusing for you let us avoid the newest and the oldest let's keep the problem very simple let's say you are whatever the order that you have got it most recent you have got and the oldest you are fetching on from the during the pagination okay now here also let's say certain comments are edited whenever you are scrolling to the end okay and those edited comments are not definitely reflected on the screen because you are having a old instance of comments correct so during the pagination are you gonna update the old comments which have been modified or you're only gonna have the new set of comments and add it to the list hope you all got the problem i'm going to explain the problem once again so let's say you have a pagination where newest comments you show on top oldest comments are added from the behind okay whenever you do the pagination and whenever you're doing the pagination certain comments which are already loaded have been edited so are you going to update those comments or not so this is a typical system design question why i'm asking i'll tell you so the problem here is whenever you think of editing a already present comments it is not that easy okay because you need to go to particular comment and particular sub sub comment or a reply what we call reply id and the comment id and that particular section you need to update it and if you're using react it need to re-render that component so sometimes if you're not uh, structured your project properly there's a chance that entire comment section can be re-rendered correct so you have to avoid all these problems number one and um, number two is uh, if you're not doing this let's say you're not updating the comments then there is a problem where consistency like i watching a video and you watching a video we have a different views of the same video so if you systems like youtube sometimes may not expect that correct so now let us how to solve this problem let us see okay how to solve this problem is so in the comment now we have to do the pagination so you got the pros and cons of each approach so if you gonna update the new comment whenever you're doing the pagination if you update the already existing comments you will have some performance effect if you're not updating that definitely the system will be faster correct so if i just write the advantages and disadvantages here okay so basically now we have two approaches approach one like that only you need to do okay in the interview as well approach one where you are doing the pagination okay and we have something called approach two approach to pagination pagination with update okay pagination without update pagination without update okay two 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 main categories we have what is the pagination with update advantage uh, consistency correct because so we, we have the consistency like basically we show most realistic data correct uh, these are the pro and what is the con it is lower correct it is comparatively slower because definitely it involves some amount of processing right you, you don't have to just update the already only you don't have you're not showing the only the new comments you also also update the already existing comments correct now let us come here and see what is pro here pagination without an update pagination without an update um, without an update price is definitely faster con you already know con is it is con is it is not consistent correct pro is this and con is con is it's not consistent correct because if three people are watching the video at a point in time they may see the different set of the comments at, at uh, that so now you as a developer need to give a suggestion to the interviewer like which is good so definitely if you ask me pagination without update is a good idea the reason being there is always a chance of inconsistency correct i opened the video 100 comments were there another opened the video 150 comments are there and i'm watching the video he's watching the video so there's already an inconsistency between the two unless i refresh my page so that problem is not newly introduced by me that problem already exists correct and there's no effort right now to solve the problem by youtube itself correct so inconsistency is fine so i would 
prefer to go with this approach pagination without an update faster faster the processing but i am fine having the non not consistency so this is your opinion now there is also one important thing that you need to consider here let's say the video says about uh some two countries and the video is saying like this country economy is much higher compared to this country okay everybody are appreciating him for making that video but the very essence of the video could be wrong like whatever his fact that is shown in the video could be wrong so somebody might add a comment with a very descriptively explaining this particular video is totally wrong these facts are wrong whatever the country that is having higher economy is not having higher economy the other country itself has a higher economy so these are called the priority comments so among all the comments certain comments can be having high priority if you don't show this comment to a user he might get misled correct so who is going to decide which is a high priority comment definitely the back end with machine learning and other algorithms you can defend certain comments are the high priority comments so you have to propose this solution to the interviewer okay i'm just giving certain examples how your mindset should be so we will go with the pagination without update but we'll also have an option to have a priority comments let's say during the pagination if you send me some priority comments with the main comment id and the reply id i will update that or if it's a new comment just send the comment id i'll insert that on top the reason for that is that might change the way the comments are working like it is in one direction now after this it might get turned into different video or whatever the comment that you wanted to add also might get changed after reading that priority comment so i will go with the option of pagination without update with the concept of the priority comments as an option okay so that's what i want to discuss with uh, three we solve two problems in this now the video player and the comment section now